Wall Street Memes Casino. I'm fine. And Sportsbook. This is Joe Pugh for IFL TV. We are here in Dublin. We made it. Dublin, Ireland. Um, here we are. Was it ever in doubt, this show? <laughs> oh, Misfits. We haven't cancelled one Misfits event since the uh, inception two years ago 17 events later from miami to nashville to houston to newcastle to telford to sheffield to leeds to the o2 to wembley arena to manchester arena we've been around the block two years it's only been two years uh, and uh saturday night as always live on the zone you don't know what you get until you see it um yeah, look, you know, main event. JJ obviously has the hand injury. Um, what does he do? He says, I want to do a concert. And here we are. We've got a boxing event, a concert, madness as always. Um, and you know what? The arena is now actually, we've got another 450 tickets put we put back on. It's a sellout, will be a sellout Saturday night, full to the last seat. First pay-per-view without KSI Boxing. Here we are, you know. Um, they've got new guys on, Danny Simpson, Leicester City, Premier League winner. That's got, wild, by the way. Wild, you know, wild, wild, wild. And I said to him the other day, he goes, man, football needs this. They, they need to do press conferences like this. And, you know, he's, he's, it's quite interesting listening to him obviously been at the, the, the very highest level of, of, of football um, and it's just his take on it and, and you know, got that HS ticky tocky, you know, this guy is like, this, this is, he will be a superstar in this space. Um, like, he's already obviously massive, you know, there's not only a kid in the UK who don't know HS ticky tocky. So yeah, it's, you know, there's loads of exciting fights, um, but it's about the whole package, isn't it? It's 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 entertainment. It's uh, it's misfits. Just to clarify, what would you say to anyone who says crossover boxing isn't what it used to be? I think I used the words up there. I, I didn't realise what I was saying afterwards. Like shit, so I just say fuck off. I hope my mum's not watching. Um, look. It's such a joke because the people say the numbers keep growing, the events keep coming thicker and faster. Um, so I get it, but I get that, you know, it's like the, the old fans saying, MMA fans, boxing is dead. You know, no, boxing ain't dead. Boxing was never dead. Boxing can't be dead. Why? Because it's in our nature to want to watch controlled violence. It's as simple as that. Some of it was a little bit out of control here today. You know, there's two things that will always sell. You know, for what I can, it's sex and violence. It's as simple as that, you know? What are two things that people pay to watch? Let's be honest, you know? I don't know if I'll pay to watch sex, but... What? To watch it. Well, you're, you're young. You don't remember the days when you had pay TV in the hotel, right? It was like the first popular thing. It was the biggest money maker for hotels with the old pay TV. You won't remember that. The internet now, mate. Yeah, it's the internet now. It's all free, isn't it? That's why the quality's gone downhill. <laughs> I wouldn't know. Or would I actually? I just heard that. Yeah. Are you on one today or what? <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm just having a, that, no, just having a bubble. How many Guinnesses you had? None yet. I got here at 12, but uh, I hope to change that when you let me go. Temple Bar or...? Yeah, we'll get a little workout in first. I'm going to be a bit boring. I am 47 now, so I'm going to get a little, little workout in first. A little bit of sort of steak and mash or something to get the lining and then I'll uh, I'll see you down there, Temple. Let's have it. Um, Edwards of Somba, only a couple of weeks ago, uh, to go now. Saw Sonny earlier, he's about somewhere. That's going to be interesting. Listen, whenever it's Edwards, it's interesting, Sonny, Charlie. Um, it's a really good fight. Um, you know, I've got to give it to my brother. These Channel 5 nights to the matchmaking, if you look through, like, the fact, what do we have, six, seven a year? Um, six, seven a year, I'd say, yeah, six, seven a year. Uh, name me a bad main event we've had, you know? We've been crap two years, year. you've had three fight of the year candidates, the year yeah? candidates, yeah. Uh, no, obviously, on a, on a lesser budget, um, big audience, massive mm -hmm. audience, but we've re reeled them in, so I don't know what Nissa does at night, 
He's, he's the boxing nerd, I've always said. Um, but he knows his, he knows his stuff, and he, the, the fights have been terrific. You know, full value for money. Uh, so exciting. We've got a few very interesting signings to announce in the next few weeks. I'm not going to say any more to that now. Um, but very exciting. Very exciting. Josh Kelly, Liam Smith, not long to go, announced today. It's the moment, my friend. And I hear 96,000. Carl, sorry. I'm very sorry, Carl. When I heard that 96,000, that just has got a right ring to it, isn't it? So Josh is going to be using that as his tagline. You know, I beat Liam Smith in front of 96,000 people. Uh, that will be reeled out a few times now. Joking aside, it's a cracking fight. We all know Liam is a great pro. Um, he'll be he'll be out to prove that he's still top. Um, you know he's you know he's a, he's had a great career, uh, and he's going to want to show that he's still still there. And and you got Josh, who people have talked about for years, and now's the moment. And have you watched his Instagram recently? Have you seen the shape? I have, it's actually. Like at it. you, don't need to, you don't need to have audio on it. You know, the, he is buzzing for this day. Cracking card. Sorry, but our fight steals the card for me, and it will. I think it's, uh, it's a great matchup. And um, I guess what a way to, to really, I'm going to coin a Hollywood phrase, a star is born, which would be a bit... A bit silly because Josh in the boxing world has been been seen as one of the, the biggest talents coming out of the amateurs for years. But this is the mainstream now, so a star is born. That's what I'm calling September 21. Does it make it all sweeter, though, that the fight was on, then it was off, there was in no negotiations for about six, seven yeah, months, sure. it seemed like? Well, you, you sort of, I don't know, you've definitely... I don't know, tapped up my phone or something. So you always seem to know that we were doing these things. I remember doing some pieces with you and also Coogan, look at me funny, well, we know, we know. And I'm like, no, no we can tell anyone. So it was on and off. January, oh, by the way. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. That's what I'm saying. That's when it, and that's when it was at its hottest. Um, it didn't happen for a reason. And I wasn't looking at Wembley Stadium for it either. So sometimes... But they say good things come to those who wait and, you know, as I said, seize the moment is what it's all about. Just to touch on the main event there between AJ and Dubois. How close is that fight? Because it seems like people are either going really early AJ or Dubois has a chance. No one's really saying it's going to be a competitive fight. Oh, I mean, I don't think... I can't... Really? People are saying Dubois is going to just take care of AJ. I mean, no, people are saying Dubois could get yeah. there, but like, not many people are saying it's going to be dip and tuck. I, 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 first of all, to give credit to Dubois, I think he's, he's one of the most improved heavyweights out there. Um, I remember years ago now, he had uh, some sort of spa, spa Philip Bergovic, and I just thought, no, this, like, he's, he's got the physical attributes, I don't think he, but I just can't see it. And then the Joe Joyce fight, and just, he's really turned it round. So credit to him. Um, I think he's had some really good performances, and he, he's he's earned this. He, he's absolutely earned this. Um, don't make much of the politics that he's the belt holder now and all that. You know that's that's very nice, but this is for me a vacant title. And as a fan, like can't wait to see this. I think we're very excited about that part. Um, I do see AJ winning. I see AJ as also, can't really compare him to Dubai in terms of the improvement because, you know, AJ's been a world champion before. I think this is, this is his fourth time filling Wembley Stadium and stuff like that. Um, but he seems to have put together, and we mustn't forget Rob McCracken's role in his career. Rob, what Rob's taught him, what the coaches in between has taught him, what Ben has taught him now. And he seems to have added a bit of spice to it, but he's focused on the strengths. That's the way I would describe it. And I think he's a right handful now. Last Which one. I wouldn't have said a couple of years ago. He's really credit to AJ on that. Last one, a little bit topical. Um, obviously, the nation is talking about Oasis getting back together. Yeah. As far as Misfits is concerned, yeah. 
please, can you make Liam Gallagher Liam, versus Liam, Robbie Liam Williams? Versus, I know, I was going to say Liam versus no I do, well, we will, oh, we're trying to make hopefully. that. And it worked because they got back together and we can all go see them next summer again. No, Liam Gallagher, um, Robbie Williams. Liam versus Robbie, that is banging. And I reckon, see, I spoke to Robbie, we were at Mexico airport and I spoke to Robbie a couple of years probably three years ago, four years ago. He now. does a bit, doesn't he? And I, and I spoke, we were in the lounge waiting for our flights. It was, we were flying different places. We were sitting there for 10 minutes and we talked about boxing. He knows his stuff. First of all, he really knows his stuff. Like, Robbie knows his stuff. Um, he's, uh, we've got a mutual friend. He's a, he's a very good trainer, Clay O'Shea. And, and look, you know, they, you know, Robbie would definitely, definitely, like, he's fit as fuck. Um, and I think Liam, despite that image of, you know, pint of Stella and uh, you know what, um, he, he's not that anymore. He's, he's fit as well, you know. So, you know, two tough northern lads, aren't they? Like, strip away all the bollocks, right? One's from Stoke, one's from, well, from Manchester. They're both, like, they can have it. They're game, 100%. So misfits... Liam versus Robbie, Robbie versus Liam. We don't want to give away the A side to anyone. That's a flip of a coin, that one. Toss, exactly. There you go, Joe. There you go. We'll toss for it. Let's do that on Misfits. Absolutely. That probably surpasses 96,000 as well. I'm just thinking who we could get as the ref, you know? I mean, Noel would be the obvious, but it's too, that's too biased, of course. Don't know which way it would go. Oh, Appleton? <laughs> Crikey, now you're, now, you're, now you're rubbing them up, aren't you? Yeah. You, well, you, could, you should promote it, actually. You'll definitely be asking the questions. <laughs> Gala, thank you very much, mate. Thanks, Cheers. Wall Street Memes Casino. I'm fine. And Sportsbook. <laughs> 